Now, I did not see the game because I was working like really late, but I heard the um, I heard one of the Twitch streams. Um, shout out to Legend of Winning. Um, I was in a stream. I was just listening to him. He was doing the play by play shit, and man, oh man. The Golden State Warriors, once again, for the first time since 2018, have won the NBA championship. It's their fourth in the Steph Curry era. Holy shit. And this is their second one without Kevin Durant, proving that Curry is better than Kevin Durant. Now, is Kevin Durant um, still a better all-around scorer than Curry? Sure. But Steph Curry, you already know he's um he has obviously more wins than Kevin Durant. Um, he knows what it's like to win championships without going to new teams and stuff. So Curry, right now Curry is um the champion of the world. Um, he won Finals MVP finally. I mean Iguodala. I mean he. I mean Iguodala was nice, but he didn't deserve that Finals MVP. And then Kevin Durant. Just you, you already know the uh, the type of snake he is. Just slithered his way to the Finals MVP twice, but now finally, finally, after all the injuries and the in the the worst record in the league, and then missing the playoffs, they finally won a championship. Now I said that the Nets was gonna win the championship this year, and boy. Was I dead wrong? I was so dead wrong that the Nets are the only team in the playoffs that got swept. But congratulations, Golden State Warriors, um, for in your um, I think that's their seventh championship overall, but it's the fourth one in the Steph Curry era. This just proves that the Warriors are the most successful team in recent. NBA history right now, man. I mean, I mean, come on, man. I mean, Boston, they're a really good team, but they just, it just looked like they weren't ready. It, it just looked like, they looked like they were intimidated, and they just, you know, the Warriors, they're just too good for them. Even if, even when Boston played their best, they just can't match the Warriors' energy, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, Boston, they had a really good season. Um, I don't know if they're going to make the finals again. I think this that was their first and only time, just like Phoenix, um, to make it to the finals because, you know, there are teams that are getting better. Like Miami, Milwaukee is still like, Milwaukee could come back. You know, you got those teams. But, um, yeah. Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond, Jordan Poole, Andrew Wiggins, bro. Andrew Wiggins, y'all, y'all, but I remember all everyone used to shit on Wiggins. Now he's a champion. What are y'all gonna say now? What are y'all gonna say now? Andrew Wiggins is a champion, man. Oh, Andrew Wiggins don't deserve to be an All Star. Blah, 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 blah. Now don't get me wrong. Wiggins did not have the best season this year, but this season shows like this season right here. It showed why he's an he was an All Star because he plays really, really good on an NBA championship team. Congratulations, the 2022 NBA champions, Golden State Warriors. Um, I don't know if y'all going to do back-to-back, uh, -back, but just celebrate this trophy for now. And uh, hopefully the Knicks would, you know, do something. Hopefully we get um, Shea or Donovan Mitchell because we, we need some help right now. But... This ain't about the next. This is about the Warriors. Congratulations. And I'm out.